that problem is that when you are installing this slide on the back they recommend that there be a three millimeter gap between the tape the top of this slide the top of this slide and the cover that goes over it to protect it from swarf and if you look you can see if we look there is only about a millimeter or a millimeter and a half clearance there so by the time you put in the actual size of the cover that can go over there that's going to be flush and also if we look down here there's next to no room underneath the slide to the reader head so I'm going to only just make it this by the way is a um, an optimum BF 20 mil and uh, so and the the um, digital readouts are Sino readouts. So I had a look, and there are actually other um, readouts you can get. You can get the eye gauging ones, and you can get the uh, optimum one, at least this is in Australia, uh, without going onto eBay. But even on eBay, you see the same ones over and over again. And uh, I've looked at the optimum, which uses a magnetic tape and would fit pretty straightforward, a magnetic reader at least, would fit pretty straightforwardly onto the machine. But uh, the control, the, the head has got very minimal functionality. And so I quite like the Sino uh, readout that I've bought. I think that the reason why they want the three millimeter gap is to allow for if you drop something, a spanner or a bit of something heavy onto the uh, onto the back of the table and it hits it, you will have a bit of gap to make sure that it doesn't actually hit the slide and the slide has got a glass plate in it. So if you hit that too hard, it's obviously going to break that slide. So I suppose that the risk I'm taking is that if I am a little reckless and drop something onto it and I do it like using this setup, I may end up breaking the slide. So I have to make a decision on, on that and I think I'll go ahead with it. So I'm going to now have a bit more of a look at what I can do and uh, when I've made some decisions, I might make another video.